Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. I hope you guys are getting ready for a really bumpy week ahead of us and uh, I will do my best today to uh, help you out and uh, make your uh, trading plans for the upcoming week. So as usual while I roll the intro and disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to this channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, as I said, I possible bumpy week ahead of us and that's why uh, I will show you a little bit a uh, quick look at the calendar. I have only the major impact events here and as you see there is a lot happening each and every day next week. So we will kick off the week on Monday with the uh, manufacturing PMI from China which is going to affect uh, Aussie and New Zealand as well very very much so you really need to keep an eye on that. Um, expect also a slow uh, New York session since both uh, Canada and USA have uh, bank holidays. On Tuesday we get uh, retail sales and uh, cash rate and uh, RBA rate statement for the Aussie to then get the very important uh, manufacturing ISM from um, ISM manufacturing PMI from the US. Wednesday GDP quarter and quarter for the Aussie trade balance for the CAD inflation report hearing for the sterling and uh, the important event on Wednesday is of course the BOC rate statement and the overnight rate no expectation for hike but the market will be listening carefully to see if uh, the forward guidance gonna be uh, hawkish or dovish Thursday um, ADP non-farm employment change for, for the US crude oil inventories and uh, the Sherman Jordan speak for the SMB. And we end the week with um, non-farm uh, payroll Friday and uh, of course employment change and unemployment rate for the CAD. And if that is not enough we're gonna get the Fed Chair Powell speak. So as I said a lots of news event that you really need to keep an eye at. Uh, uh, for the upcoming week. So uh, let's um, start with the charts and since we have a new month uh, I will start with the monthly chart here on uh, um, on the Dixie and um, we had a, a correction month that uh, did uh, push higher once again here as you see the last candle. Well something is uh, wrong about uh, this because as you see here uh, you July uh, we did not really have a close above previous high because when we go to the weekly we have this weekly candle here in July that has uh, uh, a close uh, the close of this week was not higher than uh, the highest week in July but on the monthly we see that we have a higher close which is a uh, a bit weird. I will go with the weekly uh, candles which is uh, not a close above previous high but still this is very strong for the dollar. If we go down to, uh, to the daily time frame we see that um, we uh, we did a uh, correction down here and we broke this uh, structure and about uh, we did a test of this previous high which is the key level to be broken for more upside for the dollar to start looking at um, reaching the 100 level so you need to keep an eye on that area it is a very important level short term and lower time frame um, still the same level as I had uh, last week so uh, in our trading room I tell my uh, traders that uh, if we break here to look for retracement and continuation and that what happened so far and uh, we're gonna look at the same uh, structure continuation here that we um, look for uh, retracement and um, if there is a uh, bullish evidence to uh, possible continuation yeah so uh, key level is up here we need to see a break above this area for more upside for the dollar uh, otherwise there is a possibility that we either see a uh, sideways movement up here or um, that we start having a a bit of a more uh, correction if we go um, like this slowly and retest this level I think that would be the first area to look at for a possible buy in a bullish market what we do is look for uh, correction and buy the dips um, otherwise 
if you have a break above this retest and continuation higher okay when to ditch the bullish um, idea here well i would say i want to see a break uh, that holds below this structure once again this level been acting as nice support and resistance so if the break below this happen and we fail to make a new high then there is a possibility for another move lower uh, as for now it is a bullish market uh, oil let's go to the monthly on that one as well so as you see we um, we traded lower this month to um, to retest the uh, 51 area to then push a little bit higher but still it is not um, there is no real momentum to the upside we still have a lower high here and a lower low another lower high so the question if there is a continuation i still think oil may test these levels down here around the 42 um, in a longer term move so if we go down to the weekly we see also that um, same scenario here lower low lower high and all the wicks are coming from uh, the upside so there is a bearish uh, pressure on uh, oil each time they try to push higher we got rejections and on the daily time frame we see that we have a clear uh, possible range here uh, down here at this area and that is uh, the main situation now that you should be playing sell high buy low until you have a break out of that so as you see here one two three times uh, fail to make a new high and ev each and every time we get lower high uh, instead so uh, on friday we got that uh, bearish engulfing candle on the daily and uh, i think there is um, a real possibility that we uh, move all the way to maybe test this uh, test this uh, previous low down here so if we go down to lower time frame as the four hour you see it clearly this is the range i'm talking about any uh, correction a flag or something like that that breaks down that will give you a possible short-term trade toward this level a break below that will send us back down toward 51 so uh, key resistance is uh, surely around the uh, 57 area for now on this market key support down here around the 53 gold also reached a key level of uh, resistance here so a uh, strong month as you see <coughs> sorry we reached uh, the 1550 which i've been mentioning for a while since we uh, broke above this uh, level here i've been saying that we uh, the market objective is first off to reach the 1550 now that target is uh, reached and um, if we go down to uh, the weekly time frame we see that after the re uh, retest of that level we've got a nice uh, rejection here inverted hammer uh, back down to the downside and it is a pretty extended move so some correction from this area is to be expected of course down uh, to the daily time frame we see also that we have a nice uh, bearish divergence started all the way from this level here so we do have a bearish divergence and on the rsi and we had <coughs> sorry we had uh, this uh, three-day move to the downside here confirming this uh, evening star formation or this shooting star formation and uh, there is uh, room to the downside here maybe toward these levels at least on uh, on gold uh, to around the uh, 1500 is very possible so um, last week if we look on the lower time frame we see that we had um, a break of structure here on the one hour time frame uh, after this uh, consolidation phase we got the break and then we've got another consolidation phase and uh, the market is sitting right now right at the 200 uh, moving average on the one hour that been acting as nice uh, resistance uh, dynamic resistance and now is acting as dynamic support but again this uh, structure uh, could be broken now retest and possible continuation back down toward these lows is very very possible so keep an eye on that um, short term trade here you uh, the risk to reward is pretty good as you find if you find an entry here the stop loss does not need to be above previous highs it's enough to be above this level here to then uh, target uh, monthly or two or this uh, previous low that would be a short term trade on gold and of course for more downside we need to see a break below uh, monthly uh, this 
uh, these are uh, last month uh, leveled we do not have uh, this month's uh, pivot point yet so again this area gonna be a uh, very uh, nice level for uh, a target and um, if there will be a break below that then that will open the door for more downside on gold yeah what's important for now is this area here 1550 as far as this acting resistance you should try to keep shorting from that level for now EURUSD pretty weak uh, on Friday last week pushed lower making um, a new yearly low here so uh, let's go to the monthly on this chart as well as you see we uh, closed the month uh, below uh, the low of uh, July uh, July was a bearish engulfing another monthly close below pre previous months that is just showing a uh, bearish continuation on the weekly time frame a nice bearish engulfing candle that closed below this level so uh, this uh, key support is now strongly broken and uh, it is open to the downside here to reach and maybe fill uh, this uh, Macron gap the French election gap we had here back in uh, April 2017 so um, continuation and sell rallies is the main idea here after this uh, strong push to the downside uh, the main idea here is wait for a correction higher to then start looking to sell this market from around these areas uh, this gonna be a key level to watch for a possible continuation to the downside so still bearish and uh, sell rallies is the main idea on the euro on the four hour time frame you see the structure more clearly any retest, uh, retest toward this level here is the first area to start looking for a possible sell even all the way to this area up here still also um, a level of interest to try to uh, sell this market yeah so uh, bearish continuation sell rallies but let it correct some a little uh, a little bit of correction is needed as you see here previously we had uh, much bigger corrections yeah and it broke previous high but even though it kept pushing lower so keep an eye on this trend line keep an eye on the 200 moving average on the four hour as your filter as far as we are below it keep selling rallies sterling uh, fighting a little bit again so if we go to the monthly time frame we see we end up uh, with a uh, doji star uh, month here uh, and that is not so strange because we are sitting at the last line of defense for this market um, down here yeah so uh, it is a pretty important level looking left this is uh, again uh, one of the lowest levels since uh, 1994 <laughs> and um, yeah uh, based on uh, this uh, strong structure market of course there was a fight to defense this level and that's why we ended up with a doji star here at this area is it enough for a reversal no i don't think so yet we still have a, a bearish market uh, on all time frame on the weekly we've got we ended up with an inside bar uh, and uh, if we go down to the daily we had this uh, nice push higher but again last week we were looking for uh, this market after that uh, break higher to go back retest here and continue higher but we didn't get that so far uh, and that is uh, something that should not like just say no this market will not reverse but uh, it is uh, more and more make it a little bit uh, more cautious now because this could easily now after breaking this structure uh, keep pushing uh, slowly slowly to the downside maybe tag these lows before the reversal so it is still an interesting level you should not um, scratch the idea of possible reversal but you need to be careful it is a counter trend uh, trade if you're gonna do so and uh, really um, you need to wait for real confirmation because last week we had a break above this level that's why we wait for a retest and, and uh, bullish evidence in this case the retest there was no bullish evidence at all we uh, had a bearish engulfing candle here to then close back below the trend line and kept pushing lower so uh, this market uh, for now is still um, sell rallies since we still have lower lows and lower highs 
so it is still sell rallies maybe back toward this level before start looking for a possible bounce higher yeah as for now any retest to this level that fails to make a new high it is a sell uh, area back down toward uh, the lows down here <clears throat> USD Jappy, I think uh, this market have a potential of a reversal, but we need to wait and see. Uh, as for now, um, on the monthly time frame, you see that this level is a key support level uh, down here at um, 104.30 area. Uh, at that same level, we have the 200 moving average on the monthly time frame as well, acting as support every time got tested almost to the pip this last two uh, attempts. Uh, but let's not forget that this uh, month we had a close below previous low here so uh, it is a uh, showing uh, potential more downside but again as far as this uh, down uh, this uh, low here sorry is not broken uh, it is a possibility that we see a uh, reversal here so if we go to the weekly time frame we see the structure level uh, uh, much more in detail so we have we're talking about this low this week here and last week we had a nice uh, bullish engulfing candle here on this market so for more upside uh, we're looking for a break above this structure if that is the case then we look for a retest and possible continuation yeah since uh, we are pushing higher but still there is no bro uh, no break above the uh, previous structure short term keep an eye on this level oops wrong uh, keep an eye on this level here uh, on lower time frames because uh, this could be a um, possible support once again to then uh, look for uh, another bounce higher but for uh, a clear reversal you need to see a break above this level if that is the case you look for a retest bullish evidence again and then continuation yeah uh, do not just go with uh, a um, limit uh, a, a buy stop on a breakout here because it is a clear level and uh, you may see some stop loss hunt and uh, back down again so wait for a clear break and then uh, retest on the retest you want to see bullish evidence happening here and if that is the case then you go for a long okay usd chief also um, nice bullish move um, broken above a previous structure high on the daily even here if we look on the monthly you see that we are uh, contained in a range for a very long time now since uh, ah, even back as you see going sideways since uh, 2012 almost um, and uh, last month was a um, a hammer candle so uh, it failed to uh, close lower than the previous months as well on the weekly time frame we have a very strong uh, bullish engulfing candle at this um, key support level uh, down here and uh, daily <coughs> you see that uh, this move started from this uh, important area yeah so we've been talking about this area in uh, many weekly overviews so the last time was an attempt to uh, break lower and continue lower but they failed to keep the momentum and start pushing higher and now we have our uh, first higher low after this uh, lower low here so we got a first higher low we got a first higher high and this market have now uh, much room to the upside to reach this previous high up here um, it is still could be a sideways market so uh, we have uh, this range to play now uh, this market could uh, push all the way to this level to then start moving back down but as for now seems like we have some uh, bullish momentum going on keep an eye on uh, this after this uh, break here there is a possibility that you may see a correction and um, continuation to uh, reach this previous high here I would say the first uh, structure to look at uh, as a possible sell is um, this level here but I think the deeper the bear I would like to see a correction all the way to this structure before the next move to the upside yeah because as for now if we look at this uh, move here we do have a very very nice uh, bearish uh, bearish divergence I would say uh, up here so uh, 
it is clear divergence on the one hour and I think if uh, a break below this happened there is a possibility that you see a bit of a deeper correction back down toward this structure before the next move higher so that's why I like this level more for a uh, possible um, buy and continuation to the upside uh, if we take a Fibonacci retracement for this whole leg we see that the 50% is at this uh, structure level down here so a 50% correction move would be a, a good idea here we know the level been acting as nice uh, support previously here resistance here uh, resistance and support down here so um, that's why uh, that would be uh, the better level to look for possible buy here if this market reached down toward this area USD cat uh, pretty choppy so uh, monthly time frame uh, it looks like this so after this uh, very strong month uh, here we have a couple of months uh, but uh, they both look for now as a correction if we compare the bodies of the bearish months here this month was a very strong bearish one and we got uh, four months with uh, small bodies which is uh, which was clear correction to then another impulsive month and for now Two month of correction again weekly time frame we see that the momentum to the downside is uh, much much stronger as you see uh, all these candles have uh, pretty small bodies and uh, the wicks coming from the upside which showing a little bit of um, <coughs> weakening weakness I would say lost momentum um, more like uh, a correction but on the daily time frame we still stuck inside this uh, choppy madness here so uh, the day we broke uh, this uh, trend line here there was the main idea was to look for a retest and continuation but we didn't get that we still see uh, bulls fighting back here at these areas fighting back to the upside and um, the range is clear on the four hour time frame so we're still uh, playing the same levels the highs up here the lows down here uh, and um, yeah i would say the same once again as far as this area is not broken let's keep looking to sell uh, this level now we've been tested uh, four times uh, and failed to make a new high and uh, if they fail to make a new high again here then um, we could try to uh, take a sell here do not forget that uh, next week we have the uh, rate statement uh, from the um, boc and overnight rate and after that we have the employment change and unemployment rate so this gonna um, next week uh, we do have catalyst uh, to break out of this range the question is are we gonna have a break to the upside and continuation or will we continue uh, the um, bearish uh, momentum that started after this move and then more downside so uh, for now keep playing that range i think this trend line is not needed anymore because we have a clear uh, consolidation and we should wait until this consolidation end and we have a breakout to then just keep following uh, that uh, breakout aussie usd also sitting at a um, pretty interesting level we had actually a uh, lower close uh, this month below this structure and as you see if there is a continuation here uh, this market on the uh, higher time frame is bearish impulse flag another impulse so there is a possibility for a continuation to reach these lows down here um, especially after we have a lower close but it is not the strongest uh, break below here if we go back to the weekly time frame we see that after uh, this uh, pretty strong push here uh, the weekly candles start having very small bodies rejection and um, there is no um, uh, continuation there is no momentum still and if we go down to the daily time frame we see that uh, we have this uh, this range still working well so far uh, but uh, for really bulls to start uh, having a chance here they need to push back above uh, this level to then try uh, the top of this range otherwise if they keep failing especially on lower time frame if they keep failing to get back inside here 
it is a continuation and maybe another attempt to uh, tag these lows or uh, break break them and uh, keep moving so for next week what you should be watching is if this market gonna um, be able to break above um, uh, this channel uh, if that is the case there is a chance for another attempt to move higher here otherwise if they fail to make a new high then you keep selling because it is for now a bearish market on all time frame the only thing that may be talking against that is this rejection this little rejection here and that there is no momentum after such a very strong move this consolidation is still ongoing right now and uh, New Zealand USD monthly time frame, you see that uh, we seems to be uh, getting that A, B, C, D uh, somehow. Uh, again, a monthly close below previous low. I still think this market gonna move uh, and all the way to tag this level down here. There is no much, uh, not much left now to tag this low. Maybe before that uh, correction and. If we break and close below this structure on a weekly candle, then the way will be open for that last last leg to the downside. So this is going to be a pretty interesting level to watch uh, on New Zealand USD um, next month. Weekly time frame, also same, still uh, bearish and um, I still think uh, the bears may want to get paid down here after tagging this previous low. So. Um, it is still a uh, sell rallies market, uh, but on the daily time frame, we are so extended and been so oversold for a very long time. Uh, it would be great to see a little bit of a correction, but since there is not much left until we reach this low down here, we may keep seeing this uh, going slowly, slowly to the downside to tag this low before a bounce higher. So short term, I would say keep selling rallies. Um, the first level would be a retest toward this structure up here that would be a, a good level to start to start with for a possible continuation to the downside so we're gonna keep selling rallies until this structures change and by structures change i mean until we start seeing uh, higher highs and higher lows at least in my opinion you want to see a break above this uh, previous structure here so at least a break above this to then look for um, another correction another higher high uh, and higher low happening to then start looking for that deeper correction to the upside otherwise um, we're not getting uh, much deep correction this was the deepest correction we had so far and as you see break retest continuation consolidation break again so that's why i'm watching this level as first area for a possible sell back down to just keep following the trend until it show us that um, there is a trend a trend change here on this market so uh, yeah that was the the last um, market for today guys thanks a lot and uh, see you next week bye bye